Today's far left has gone absolutely bonkers when it comes to regulation. What's stunning is that so many politicians, media mavens, and so-called thought leaders and influencers are going along. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Modern socialists are on a relentless march. Years ago, they grasped that unlike old-time Marxists who thought government needed to own the means of production, they can achieve control through extensive regulation. They may not formally own your business, but they can make your survival dependent on their whims. But it's not only businesses and industries like autos, high-tech healthcare, finance, utilities, railroads, and others they're after. Look at the appliances and foods that make life better that are in the crosshairs of the far left. The list grows almost on a daily basis. Gas stoves, air conditioners, dishwashers, washing machines, refrigerators, vacuum cleaners, lawn mowers, leaf blowers, snow blowers, hair dryers, shower heads. Now they're coming after water heaters, ceiling fans, light bulbs, and portable generators. Soon, fixed place generators will be targeted. These everyday labor-saving, life-enhancing devices won't be formally banned. The far leftists who actually run the administration of the increasingly hapless Joe Biden learned a lesson months ago from the blowback of their moves to ban gas stoves. You just put in new regulations that make them almost useless or impossible to manufacture. New energy department regulations on gas stoves would make almost all current ones illegal. It's not only appliances. Beef is under attack. Cows produce methane. Ireland and Holland want hundreds of thousands of cows culled from herds to help fight climate change. In New York City, pizzas produced in traditional wood and coal-fired ovens are to be eliminated. The Big Apple is getting a new name, the Falling Tower of Pizzas. This prohibition-like regulatory binge is pursued in the name of reducing greenhouse emissions and saving energy. The most insulting rationale is that these regs will save you money. No, they won't. Those devices will be more expensive. Since they will be less efficient, users will consume more energy. Think dishwashers that take two hours to do a load instead of one hour. One way they will save money, people just won't bother to buy things that don't work. This whole craziness shows modern socialists just don't get free markets. When allowed to work, capitalism reduces costs while increasing efficiencies. It's called the learning curve. Take your handheld. The first cell phone in the early 1980s cost $3,995, had a battery life of barely an hour, was the size of a shoebox, weighed like a brick, and provided only voice phone service. Today's devices are virtual supercomputers. We don't need government to get new and better and more efficient products. In fact, government is the enemy of these wonderful things. What is so amazing and disturbing about this regulatory madness is how quickly, unquestionably, so many politicians, especially in blue states, supinely accept it. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.